getting down to the business end of the 2018 Lucasoil Super Stakes. Today is the final day. We have a few interviews to get through and the non-pro derby final was just decided. It was a tie. I have both the winners here. And Chad Newshaw, congratulations to you both. Thank you. What a great Thank effort. You. I'll start with Chad. You came out in the first set. Um, you laid down that 222. How did you feel after that run? You know, I was uh, pretty pretty pleased with my mare. Um, just thankful to get through it, and thankful we cut some good cows, and just uh, real happy with her effort. Well, I'd imagine you'd be very happy because you've just backed it up. You've got really gone two for two. You <laughs> won the futurity. How does this win feel in comparison? Uh, feels good. Um, there's there's absolutely nothing like the futurity. Nothing even comes close to it, but this is uh, being able to tie with someone like Megan, who's one of my favorite people, and her husband's one of my favorite friends and trainers, and to tie with the great mare that she has, I uh, feel, feel very happy to be here. Okay, can you take us through your run tonight? How tough was it? Uh, you know, cut, cut all three cows that we talked about. Uh, Casey Green and Matt Gaines are, have been my herd help for a long, long time, and uh, cut Cut all three cows that we intended. First cows, first couple cows were a little bit on the average side, but the third cow was really, really good, and felt like we uh, finished real strong. And I was pleased with my mare the whole time. And woulda, coulda, shoulda. Wish I'd cut them a little cleaner and a little this and a little that. And but in uh, just, just real pleased with my mare. Always got something to work on, huh? Oh yeah, you bet. Now, um, what does it mean to you know win back to back? You've got. Obviously, the summer in your sights, the Triple Crown, is that what you really like to, to win? You know, I really haven't thought about it too much. Um, my, my mare was off for a good bit after the Futurity, and I'm just thankful to have her back. And, was she injured? Uh, yeah, just slightly. Nothing nothing real major, but just kind of preventative uh, caution. We, we left her off until this show and flushed a few embryos, and we're... Uh, so how did that um, play into your strategy coming out tonight when you had some time off? Uh, it wasn't really any strategy. It was kind of a forced, forced strategy, but um, I'm real happy with my mare, and she came back very well and very strong, very sound, and just, uh, just very pleased with her. So when you have a bit of success on a horse as a non-pro, do you feel like you can cover your expenses, say, for that one horse? Um, yeah, I try not to really think about all that a whole lot anymore but um, you know, I think when you when you have a special horse you're you're just so thrilled and happy and blessed to have a, a special horse in your life that the rest of it just sort of falls by the wayside and you just kind of focus on having those special animals it's it's just hard to hard to get one that's like that so when you do get them I'm sure uh, sure awful thankful to, to have her and uh, tell us about the work life balance you work full time you got your family, you've got cutting, how do you make it all balanced? You know, it's all self-inflicted, so I can't complain <laughs> about it at all. Um, but really, I, I wouldn't, change a, wouldn't change a thing, wouldn't change a single decision I've ever made, wouldn't, uh, I've said it before, but I've, I've got the, you know, the greatest wife ever, and I've got three healthy, beautiful boys that I'm extremely proud of, and um, I've got a great, great assistant at my office that helps me keep my professional life you know, going at a very high level, a lot of Chalmers, and she's uh, she's as important as my horse or my turnback help or anybody else. She's she's a big part of any success I have, um, and you know, just great people at the ranch from Crystal Hensley that gets my horse ready to Austin Keys that starts our colts to the guys that turn back and help me pick cows, and I'm just very very fortunate. It takes a team. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It was great oh. to speak to you. And congratulations. We'll thank be you. interested to see how you go. Uh, it'll be great to see you in the, the Triple Crown. No, thank you. Thanks, Chad. And we shared that with Megan Miller. <laughs> congratulations to you, Megan. Thank you. Now, the 222 was laid down in the first set. Yes. What was your strategy tonight? I really just wanted to go down there and show my mare. Um, I knew she was capable of marking a big score if I got my cows cut clean and the cows helped us, and she was great. Um, I couldn't have been more happy. Can you describe your run? Can you take us through your three cows? Um, yes, I ended up cutting two cows. Um, I went in to cut my first cow, and we had a white cow and a gray cow. I was going to start with the gray, and the way um, the cows were just shifting, 
the white cow just seemed in a better spot. It just kept walking forward, and I decided with that first. And then um, the gray cow, we came back and cut, and I ended up saying, um, I remember Matt said, 15 seconds, stay here, and felt like forever, but <laughs> we worked it till the buzzer. It's amazing how long 15 yeah, seconds Yeah, it really be. is, for sure. <laughs> okay, um, what did it mean when you looked up and saw that score? Just, you know, you just, it's a great feeling in this arena to be able to mark anything like that is such a huge feat. It's so hard to do this, you know, and I'm just thankful that I have a horse like that and just every time I get to go down there, especially in a final in Fort Worth, it's just nothing like it. And what do you like about your horse? Um, she's been special since the day she was born. I, we raised her and she's out of our Pepto mare, Carolina Moon, um, who's meant the world to me. She was my first really big time cutting horse and uh, put me basically where I wanted to do this. Um, she showed me that there's a whole other level to this game and um, this mare just kind of showed those signs early on. Um, Gusty Berger was working for us at the time and um, I just remember watching her work her on the machine the first time and she just locked in there and I just thought, wow, I've never seen anything like that. I told Matt, she's one I want to keep, you know. And um, anyway, we've just been really fortunate to do that and I hope to keep her forever and raise lots of babies and she's going to hopefully be the replacement for Carolina Moon for us. Okay. What a great story to have that um, you know, throughout your cutting career. Um, tell us how you got into cutting. Oh, my parents um, have been doing this as long as I can remember. When we grew up on a breeding farm, my parents have been in um, several different disciplines, but they always enjoyed cutting. And I did a lot of the all-around events growing up. And then my later teen years, I um, kind of, thats I guess I was 18 or 19 when I got Carolina Moon at the Super Stakes as a three-year-old. And um, that just kind of shifted my interest into this full throttle, I guess. <laughs> now, you're married to Matt Miller, trainer, who um, you obviously work and train with. Adds an extra ch extra challenge to a marriage. How do you guys make it work? I honestly, I mean, we have our days, I'm sure, like everybody, <laughs> but I, it's, I really feel blessed every day to get to go to the barn and help, and I have a great team of people. I mean, um, we, we do work well together. I don't, I mean, most of the time, it's pretty awesome. We get along good, and um, we have a great crew. I'm Cameron Thompson, Carly Chiarelli, um, Jake Flannery, Jocelyn Marzella is, runs our spa, and um, I just have a lot of awesome people. And then, not to mention my mom and dad and Matt's parents. And we just, with so much help with the kids, it's the only way I'd be able to do this. And I am super blessed in that. Again, it comes to the same thing we're talking about with Chad, that it takes a village. It really does. That's what makes cutting special. It really does. And we're very fortunate. Well, thank you. Congratulations thank on you. the win. Thank you so much.